Yo, what's up guys? It's Mr. Jamhead and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server. And uh, one, I just want to thank everybody who's been leaving comments. I love seeing your comments and I remember when I used to reply all the time. So the truth is got complacent, but the second truth is I barely even have to. Oh, it's 8.30. <laughs> As I said, I should not be recording late. But I'm, I'm getting like, one step at a time. At least I'm uploading. Um, and then we work on getting it done. Because again, just getting in all that stuff. Gotta be up at four, all this. So I'm, I'm getting this in, rendering it, producing the thumbnails. So Joe, the reason I'm, I'm going back and forth between the thumbnails, some days I just don't have the time. So I, I just Google something and put a title on it. Um, <laughs> just quicker so um, plus I'm sort of experimenting to see which one does you know what it says but I'm gonna be using Serena today and I thought about it like you know if I record a half an hour live I'm gonna end that after nine gotta edit render da, 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 and I won't have enough sleep or I won't do anything else for the remainder of the night not that I'm Grimo, baby. So it's not like I'm mean, really concerned about having to do too much more other than work. But um, I did intend to write today, um, but since I had a couple of meetings, uh, that did not happen. Um, and now my brain is fried. So to try to go there and then try to <laughs> spew them on the paper, it's probably not happening. Um, thinking what do I do here there's no Steve fuck it I'll just make this very simple um, I really don't know what his elf is intending to do my my Finny interestingly enough is actually quite good this is his rocker for sure I just don't know if it would have um, if it would have fire blast I don't see why it wouldn't and I should die in one go I'd hate to waste Turn with fire black, you'd have taunt, stealth rock. You might not have fire blast actually. Magnezone is not is important, and the fact that he's taking so long somewhat implies that he doesn't have it. Um, the reason is if he if he's explosion and I go Finny, like Finny in this end game choice card moon blast is lethal, wow, lethal. Um, in addition to actually Serena Loki, so um. The bit of brain cells I have left. He does have a fire move, but he doesn't use it. He's just going to go for... He's not going to use it again. He's going to rocks. I'll play it. Again, the value of my Magnezone is relatively low, so... Um, that wasn't the riskiest play in the world. As he asked for Kabalian, I'm assuming to VS. Um, otherwise, this doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm debating whether or not I should just leave the zone in and flash cannon anticipating that because again of all things you could have gone to Kobalion which is a free agent slash which you can't guard against so I'm actually going to just flash cannon here um, he swords dance which is interesting so now for sure he's gonna go for very interesting decision uh, I flash cannon there uh, on the out chance he I mean everything else would have been flash cannonable uh, to be fair iron head yeah like that's what I'm saying like you have nothing for annoying uh destroyed so it's just like being as low as it is you know i'm 35 percent below what i should be it doesn't matter you know it's gonna matter versus latios versus real boom um i don't have a steel move just realized uh, i'm not feeling that but i'll make do he's gonna um, actually spirit breaks which is interesting because I don't think he would have outsped me especially if zone outspeeds him um, there's no setup mind that really matters I don't think flash cannon reflex spirit break audio shouldn't matter Unless it's like I have Ice Shard and Life or Ice Shard and Spell Attack, Shadow Sneak, and Scarf Finny. If I need the trick, but if he just locks himself in a side shard, that'll be sufficient anyway. But um, oh, interesting. Spirit Data Seven. 
So it obviously reflects here because he's gonna get pressed. Press him zone. I uh, got reflect up. I mean, he got light screen up. Um. Hmm. I wonder if Queenly Majesty blocks blocks um, blocks. What's it called? Prankster priority. I mean, it should block all priority, not just priority moves in terms of like by definition, like an ice shard. But I was saying, um, so yeah, there goes a reflect. Wise man, wise wise man. As uh, spirit break, light screen, spirit breaks here is obvious. The spirit breaks here, obviously. Um, I am faster than him. I'm going to just press the issue. <clears throat> He's gonna taunt here, assuming that I am. Um, I am the fog. I could have Volt switched, but I actually want Zapdos to be in it positions well versus everything that's not Latios, right? Um, and Latios, I mean, it could be set up. Pretty unlikely, though, as Finny can. In. Okay, so it is set up. This allows for us to trick. He can side shock lock, but he actually locks himself into. So this allows for us to defog everything away. He's going to defog the screens away, the rocks away. And if Rillaboom came in, it would have defogged the terrain away. Um, and I do have, you know, it's funny, this had knockoff on it. I was like, what the fuck am I doing with knockoff on Serena? See, you know, trust the base lord himself. The base lord knows all. So, what I have to do, hey, there are a couple ways we can go about this. Um, what I'll do is go hard Zapdos, because I figured Sword Dance would be his only, the only way he would be any kind of threat to me is with Sword Dance. Um, I'd rather have, I'd rather have, um, it's okay, so he's like max attack. I'd rather have, um, let me see, I have no defense, but I'm max special attack. Okay, that's why I'm doing so much. Um, because Mamba Swine can come in and just EQ. I'd imagine he'd just attack, right? Uh, he could have an... Uh, let me see. So you'd fear the priority move here. I mean, I don't need to make this play. Like, this double switch here. But this arena is not doing shit else. Well, I guess it could be helpful for the Latios. The Latios is going to be, what, stored power? Meaning helpful, meaning, like, it doesn't die in one. Now I'm making this flex play. Because then I can power whip hard. Otherwise, you just expect me to. Um, you just expect me to. Uh, it's funny because even if he attacks Serena's natural bulk, wouldn't make it die. But similar to how um, Fini just ate. But um, so I should sneak. Ooh. And then this banded whip was about to put him in there. Oh, he wasn't. Jesus. Don't do it to them. What's funny is that the Rillaboom is still an issue. So I want to make sure that I'm positioned um, well for that. Let's see what he has. Or a sphere. Okay. Very interesting that he locked into sphere. Because that forces. Um, this forces this kill. I could have Zabdosed and Volt switched. Or if Zapdos and Thunderbolted. But um, he doesn't know I have. He doesn't know I have um, King Shield. Not like it matters, but it puts him in blade form. So now um, he actually Shadow Clawed, which surprises me. And now this allows me to put myself in the position that I was talking about. I'm kind of curious how much Rillaboom would take. But my my fear is that the I lose a lot of um, well, I guess I could stall out the terrain. I'm gonna power whip and see him. Oh, he goes harder a little more. I'm curious how much this does. Chee! That didn't do as much as I expected. Not gonna lie to you. My choice banded. I'm adamant too. Like I made that boy adamant. Say so it was banded. And obviously, Age of Slash is about to get whipped. Wow, wow. 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 MSDing obviously doesn't matter. 
I'm faster as adamant than Jolly. I yet to SD though. I mean, how else was he gonna win? Can't, he couldn't have shadow snuck me. Man, so Serena is doing his damn thing. We're gonna probably, this is gonna be one of them short lives. And I, I think I may have said this in the intro, I was thinking it to say it. But, um, and then I started thanking you guys and stuff and rambling. The usual. But, um, I was saying, man, Serena worked. Serena worked. Um, I was thinking, I was like, man, you know, I felt like I've, all my lives have been 30 minutes for so long, at minimum, that, like, I felt like some moral obligation to, oh, man, if I'm going to record, it has to be, I'm like, what? No, it doesn't. <laughs> like, I can just grab two games. I know, like, for those who watch for more sleeping, like, falling asleep to things, you know, which has been a thing for years, um, I remember when my ex, whenever I talked to her, she'd be like laying on my chest at night. If we're talking about something, she'd just fall asleep. Like it, it not in like an insult. I mean, I guess it could be just because I'm boring as fuck. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's far less likely the case. I find that once it hits certain hours and when we're having conversations, and this happens with other women too. The Jenna just doze, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and just doze off. Um, so you have to lesson learned there, guys. You got to get the work in before you start the talking. Um, then they can go to sleep. Um, see, you learn more than Pokemon on this channel. <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up and win this battle real quick. Assuming I'm gonna win, right? Like this guy's a Moltres. I'm clearly outmatched here. Uh, he's very weak to water. I'm just thinking how I'm gonna deal with that. Maybe late game surf sweep. My Serena is very dangerous. It's just I'm afraid of the. Well, maybe Serena triple axel bangs. That those is an issue. Um. Gengar would be a problem if he were to start the game off with that. I can late game him with Mammal. Hmm. Uh, I do wish I had better solutions for the Swampert. Um, but the worst case scenario would be Gengar. So what I'm gonna do is since the Zapdos, this is a this is not where I wanted to go about it. Like if I, I Serena would have been amazing. The the issue with Serena is he could go Moltres and Flame Body me, and he could um, go hard, um, Rocky Helmet, potentially Rocky Helmet, Tangrowth, eat the Triple Axes, and then just switch out. So this is risking that I have to Hurricane hit, right? And I wasted a lot of fucking value. If I hit the hurricane, I'd be in an amazing position because I really need two on him, two hurricanes, and I could end up not getting any. Um, the upside is that Zapdos offense, like, oh, I get a crit there. Okay, some justice. Oh well, I guess, I guess so. Uh, he might, he might go for earthquake here, predicting me to roost. He flip turns though. Where's my fucking paralysis? Um, so Zapdos is dead, which isn't great, but. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say exactly that. Those Sabdos is more important than Magnezone. Hmm. Magnezone, locking Bisharp, Traven Bisharp. Uh, means what for us? He just thought she's losing to most things anyway. Guys, mm. yeah, Sabdos just has a bit more utility here. Um, so, goodbye, Magnezone. She didn't take that much from that, which means my age of slash will live too. Um, cause I need the I need him to be either moon blastable or surfable. I just don't know if this is choice card. Typically, these things like to do things like being choice card. So there goes the swampert. Um. My Mamoswine is a big issue for him. 
just need certain conditions, man. I don't have knock. So he opts for the Zygarde, which is interesting because uh, it gives the free switch in the Serena uh, for 1,000 arrows. Wow, he's banded. And that did a lot more than I expected. So now I actually forced a triple axle, which risks the burn. Alternatively, I could just hard switch to Zapdos. And then he doubles back to, to Zygarde as I roost. And I have to hit a hurricane. I'll just triple. Come on, bro. Actually, if I triple axed there, I would have died. I don't know. No, I don't know, my G. Like, uh, I can't go hard fitting here. I can't go hard fitting. I've shown triple axe, but it's a, again a pretty safe. I knew you'd have rock rocky helmet. That's why I wish I had something with knock. But the, again, the the Serena had knock, so I could have knocked his item off there. Uh, knock would have been like knock again. I'm not gonna. It's probably gonna be the last game. So just don't know enough. So I I can't play this game safely. He has too much ammo. So he knocks, I lose my spell tag, that's perfectly fine by me. As we're gonna shadow ball here. Uh, Bisharp may come in as an issue, uh, but I figured he wouldn't. It's funny with the spell tag there, he was done for. So now I need to entice him to sack the Tangrowth because that's gonna matter versus my Surf. What I'm afraid of is it has Scarf Gengar or Sash Gengar. I just realized I don't have. Oh, I do have rocks. My rocker is Tangro. I just realized I have rocks on, on Mammoth Slime. I could also try to win with Mammoth Slime. Uh, the issue again is just the. So I go Serena, I triple axle, and I die. If I go Zapdos. Just think the likelihood of him going hard Zygarde is low. He could. I'm gonna hurricane. It it's ah oh, fuck, bro. I just needed to hit that hurricane there. I, I really did. I really really needed to hit the hurricane. If he went Zygarde on my Thunderbolt, because Zygarde could technically, if I'm defensive Zapdos, he could go hard Zygarde there. Um, he doesn't know my Zapdos, bro. I guess he could know based on the Swampert damage. But I really needed to hit that. Um, so I think it's just a guaranteed loss now. Um, yeah, I don't think I can win. There comes the Moltres. Flamethrower. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I can pull something off. Depending on if this game is Bisharp is Adamant or Jolly. Is he off straight for Gengar? Is it Scarf? Scarf, isn't it? Yep. Which, which I figured as much. Um, if it wasn't Scarf, then we had a shot here. But um, I guess technically the Moltres could get flinched. So we're not going to give up. Moltres could get flinched. Uh, that's if it's slower than me. That's the ops for Zygarde. So, well, I lose either way because Bisharp can sucker punch. I don't know why he went hard Bisharp and then didn't sucker punch. So if if the Moltres got flinched, he lost there. Um, very interesting decisions toward the end game there. But um, as I mentioned. I knew I knew what the issue would be in this game, which would be hitting Hurricane. Um, the Swampert in particular. I mean, I guess I got a crit, but two Hurricanes and asking for two Hurricanes to hit like we hit what one of three. But I knew if he went to Zygarde there on my Zapdos and I hit the Hurricane, I think I killed him. If he went and I thund and I Thunderbolted, I'd be done for. So it's just one of those things you have to take that risk, uh, especially because he's banned and I have nothing for it. So um, Tangrowth got KO'd there and my Zapdos stayed alive. It's a very different game. 
Because then I think what what, what, do you, what did we end up um we had to end up going to Mammal Swine. I don't remember, but you know it, we'd have a, a a lot better of a chance um, because then he'd have the mind down. Tangrowth would be dead, and I wouldn't have to go to Mammal Swine and reveal anything about it. Um, and then potentially having an extra sack for the finny but I didn't have a steel type or a, a, I guess that's one reason I could have kept the well, I couldn't keep the magnets on because I had no ghost resist I don't know this was a tough one Scar Gengar is one of those random ass things that would just destroy a team like this um, we'll grab one more watch me trying to get over fucking 30 minutes I knew this would happen <laughs> things I do for love love of the game plus I, I I hate I don't regret anything I did in the game just now so I'm like oh hey, what what are my alternatives there I, mean, I kind of had to I just was like hoping I wouldn't get a stolly looking team so we're just gonna um, beast through this one um, and try to get Serena to do some things but this is another potential Finny situation um, it's helpful for Como on the other chance it's like belly jump plus I have ice shards so um, you don't know what to expect from the the that's just fucking Finny I really don't know what to expect here I know Slurpuff could be faster than me um, I know it does get Endeavor Misty explosion and things like that. He's gonna triple axle. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Oh, you dog. You almost had him. You almost had him, you dog. So, you know, we could opt for Mammoth Swine. We could opt because he's probably Sticky Web. Um, that doesn't really matter that much versus this. Actually, that's not true. It matters versus the Como. But the thing about Como is it has to belly drum. He has to be able to get a belly drum off. Helmet Lando. Uh, I guess he just read my. Um... The issue with this for him is if I was defog Zapdos, he'd just give me a defog for free and then I'd outspeed his sword. Well, I guess that doesn't, there's no guarantee I outspeed. Speaking of Zapdos, Zapdos like sweeps him by itself. Like he'd just give me a free switch into the Zap. The Zapter here. Um, just thinking. Zone is dangerous too by itself. So I'll Serena hard. Um, your turn made sense because you don't want Zapdos coming in. Um, Sony, I didn't even formulate a proper game plan yet. I think it depends on what, uh, like. Mammal Swine eats him alive. Like if you notice, Mammo died. Mammo, Mammo could beat Weekend Como, could be Landorus, Slurpuff, depending on the Zard, the Oster Celestia. So I'm guessing this is Autonomize something, something, perhaps Autonomize Meteor Beam. Um, what's Celestia? I'm just gonna steal Triple Axel though. He flamethrowers and crits me. I don't know if the crit mattered. Hmm. Thinking whether or not it's worth trapping this now in exchange for my magazine. I mean, my magazine, as I said, is actually semi decent versus this team. Um, I think it is worth it. Unless he's timid, I should be faster than him. Special attack investment mattered a lot. So I guess the beast boost there. Um, this might be looking like a L, my guys. <laughs> nah. We're Thunderbolt here. I, I mean, Landers would be awful. This is another situation where if he goes Landers and I hit the Hurricane, it's done for. I'm Hurricaning. If I miss, I think he Meteor Beams and kills me. If I go, ugh, it's just such a, a, such a high value play if I hit the Hurricane. Um... But I'd assume he'd fear me defogging. Yeah. 
I don't I don't think he should ever go Landorus there. My point is just that if he did go Landorus, it would be an amazing situation. Um, he's expecting to be faster than me, which is you know, assumptive. But um, I get it. Zapdos is a huge offensive issue to him. And funnily enough, I'm not timid, which I could understand. No, no, you still max speed this out. Like, there's no excuse for that. Um, so here comes the Lando, which I figured would rear its ugly head eventually. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go hard for on a Toxic. Yep. Then we're going to get rid of these filthy hazards because I need this gone. Yeah. And everything that he could go to, I have positional advantage versus, like, with water move. And if the Como decides to try to belly drum, then... This is what I'm talking about. Like, where's my fucking Max? Not Max. What am I trying to say? Where's my, um... Trying to say max. Where's my um age slash will live, even if he um for Mexico fires. Um Yeah, I just need the shadow ball damage to knock him out with earthquake. Uh and this is one of the only things left that can take on my Zapdos, but and my Finis. So spell tag. You see what I'm talking about? Where's my flash cannon at, man? So this is bad. Uh, if I wasn't an adamant life for Mamoswine. <laughs> if I wasn't that. Even if he's max defense, you're evaporating here. I shall evaporate you. But even if he were to survive, Mystical Fire wouldn't kill me. I mean, Draining Kiss wouldn't kill me. Um, and I don't think he'd revive enough to wear. So I, I don't see how... I'm t I see 270, 29. I... I am fearing this is some CTC non-max speed spread. So 286, which means the Como could kill. Well, let's see. The Como, if it clangorous soul blazed. It wouldn't lose enough health. And because it's not even a speed tie, man, I am not pleased about this part but Clangro's soul blaze would be the only thing you'd have to touch that does and I'd have to hit the hurricane so what was my best bet so I could I could just I could just leave mammoth line and say fuck it I'm going to um, ice shard which I think just from a hack standpoint is my best bet you know, if he drain punch there and I switched to Finny, it'd have been a done deal. Um, I could have went to fuck me, bro. Zapdos. I I could also went to to Finny there. I don't think he's expecting me to be. Um, so I don't know. I'm asking a lot from this fucking hurricane right now. But because he has both a water resist and a, and a fairy resist, so Zar comes in. Which is good for us. We just Thunderbolt. Um, we're not even risking the... So he has a Drain Punch, which means he's Belly Drum. So it's, it's going to come down to Finny outspeeding anyway. Um, I could have also went... The reason I didn't want to go Finny on his... Um, on his... Um, not his Landers. On his... Because if, if he U-turned on the turn... Well... I don't think Surf would have killed Zard. It would have been just a funny situation because I'd be locked into Surf and the Como would get to set up, which is what we were trying to avoid. Nice. Abdos just said no. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, not a clean endgame. Uh, he made the, the good play in the Mamoswine Dream Punching there because if he if he set up and I attacked, he was done for. If I went to Finny and he attacked, I was done. he was done for. So it's like, uh, I have to make this read correctly, and he did. But here I go, over fucking 30 minutes. Can't help myself. Thanks for watching, guys. I love y'all, and I'll talk to you.